I have been quickly climbing through Champion, the second highest Rocket Racing rank, by using one very overpowered strategy to destroy every opponent in every race. These games were from a few days ago, but I was still high in the top 200 leaderboards. I will be showing how even if you make horrible mistakes and end up in last place, you can easily climb your way back to the podium. So let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, welcome back to some more Rocket Racing. I thought I would share some of my more niche tricks on some of these races to hopefully get you guys uh, up into Champion and Unreal. Um, I just got Champion, so starting to really pull ahead um, on the leaderboard. Flip to the left there, by the way, and I just did not flip because of the fact that I uh, got hit by a car in midair. It happens. You can see this guy flew across, but he's at the same point as we are in the race. Oh, man, I'm getting pushed everywhere. Um, it's always really important to manage your turbo because you're going to get in these situations where People are trying, oh no. People are trying to pull ahead early on, which isn't super important. Okay, well. Not the greatest start. I think we can still win this. See, people are trying to pull ahead early, but they just, um, they use their turbo in spots where they don't need to. I can just draft off all these players and I'll pick up more speed than they have because of the fact that I'm drafting off of them. Always useful. And I'm back in first. This is how you make mistakes, but still like recover um, your positioning. You got to make sure you stay behind people and um, use drafting when you can, because if you can turbo into a draft, you can compound your speed to a point where you're going to be way ahead of everybody else. Like people think that mistakes in this game are going to like ruin the entire race. It's not true. Like The mechanics of this game are actually much more complicated than you think. And they allow you to take advantage of the other players on the, on the, the track. Oh, that's, that's just the inverted controls kind of messing with me there. I, uh, I really hope they fix that. It's, uh, it's Actually, this is probably the race that affects you the most. Because... Uh, Whenever you go through that tunnel there, um, there's the the boosters on the top. They're very um, very hard to hit if you don't have just a straight line on them. And you can see my my race lines here are, are a little uh, cleaner than my opponent's, so I get ahead a little bit early there. They go a little bit too wide. Sometimes like going tighter with the the drift is better. I couldn't turn there because I didn't know which way my car was going to move, unfortunately. Always a little scary. So we didn't you, we didn't get our final turbo there, but I think we should still be okay. So even though we made all those mistakes, we still caught ahead because we had that extra turbo and we used the drafting to our advantage. I feel like a lot of players are making the mistake of trying to get ahead too fast where you can use drafting to your advantage to get an overall boost in your time on the map. A solo run on this map will never be the world record, I feel like, um, in the future. Because I feel like the fastest route is going to be using other players. But even there, I don't even think I should have jumped there because I should have just used my turbo uh, gaining there. Now that this this one here I find is useful. I don't know if that that top left one is good. This this race is uh, one of the more complicated ones, and you saw that person leave. Um, a lot of people are leaving because there's no penalty right now, but they will fix that, I imagine, in the future. Clean. This guy uses turbo, but once again, don't want to do that. Just want to stay clean. I even cut in a little bit here so I can go onto this booster. And I like the underside more just because it's a lot cleaner. You also get a tighter turnaround here. You can ramp off here and basically get a free turn around the corner. I find um, it's not as common now, but when these races were first introduced into the map pool, they were like a free win uh, because everyone was too scared to try things. That's why my uh, shortcuts uh, map or uh, shortcuts video um, is very helpful because 
It's nice to know those kind of roots before uh, everybody else does. And you can give it a nice little advantage. Also, just avoiding uh, avoiding the, the uh, hazards is obviously recommended. But I say that because like a lot of people are hitting them on, the, on these races. Like these ones specifically. Like that. People hit, hit those a lot. And then you get stunted. Also, be careful not to use your turbo right after you get hit by a hazard. Uh, which, by the way, this is peak gameplay right here. Because uh, if you use the, the turbo right after the hazard, um, you won't get a very good boost. Now, this is race 2 or 3. I have almost uh, full turbo. So I'm going to use the one here. And try to get some drift going. Maybe on the inside. Oh, he pushed me into it, of course. I should be able to draft off him, though. Hopefully, a little bit. Oh, there is a. There are two hazards down there. Oops, I forgot about that. I might use one turbo here to try and catch up on this guy who's in first. We have to be really efficient here at the end. My butt did not touch that. I refuse to believe that that it touched that. I'm hoping to get two boosters at the end here. Didn't pass Hanu 22, but not too bad of a race. Made a lot of mistakes in that one too, and I feel like if I missed a couple of those hazards, I probably would have been okay because the 307.46 to 309.53 is not that big of a gap, and a couple a couple spots there could have saved a lot of time. We got the exact same race, so hopefully I can get first this time. But I think this is a good way to show that like, even though you can you can make a lot of mistakes, you can still uh, get a recovery back to uh, the front of the line, um, and, and it's just important not to panic on a lot of the races. Just do your thing. I kind of I kind of like to ignore players for the most part if they have a different route and stuff as long as I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and don't make any mistakes. Overall, I'll I'll come out at least in the top 3 finish. This guy uses booster, totally fine. Don't need to worry about that. I don't feel like I hit that, but I would say like a lot of the uh, hazards are unforgiving on their hitbox. It could be a server thing, though. I'm gonna get bumped by this guy. Like right there, I don't feel like my butt actually touched that, but that's okay. Once again, people are using their uh, their turbos. Totally fine, because now I can use my draft against these players. Like, I don't mind this at all. If I get players who are, like, less efficient than me doing giraffes uh, or doing turbos early. Um, I'm going to use one here, though. I usually can fly right to here if I use that turbo there. Um, like, it's totally fine because then they give me an advantage. I totally don't mind that. It's actually better that they did that. And now this guy in front of me probably has one turbo. I hit that one. I had to flip there to make sure I don't hit the hazard. My my drift would have uh, continued into the, the hazard there. Honestly, on this map, it feels like... Um, oh, what the? I got a little bit of lag there. Um, it feels like as long as you don't hit hazards, you should win. Wow. Or do that. Once again, made a mistake. Let's see if we can... Pull back into the the lead here. But look at all these players I can draft off of that have way less, way less um, turbo than me. Yep, back in first. Use a bit of draft on that guy. I find that drafting you have to be a little bit careful with how uh, you approach players from behind. Because it, sometimes it doesn't give you the draft.
So what I'm hoping to do here is get one more turbo. Which I should be able to do after this turn. And under here I can get like one or two drifts. And cut around this corner. Get a bit of drift going. There we go. Now just to... Uh, oops, I missed that final uh, turbo, but it didn't even matter. I literally didn't even need it because I was already at the, right, the finish line. So yeah, so many mistakes. And yet here I here I am in first against all champion level players. It's definitely uh, a good strategy. Oh, we got Festive Falls. Uh, I don't know if this means we got lower ranked players. I don't think it does because this is in the diamond and above uh, rank. Uh, I don't know why people leave in this race too. It's not a bad one at all. Um, but on the whole thing about making mistakes and, and drafting, oops. Not paying attention to the, the timer. Um, it begs the question. Will people, like, as as Rocket Racing evolves and people get better at the game, I feel like it's going to become very meta to, like, sit behind people and uh, try to draft off every player um, more often and save turbos. So a lot, you're going to see a lot more turbo management. Um, I don't know. I don't know what racing will look like. Because it's only a couple weeks in, right? So we have no idea what... Oh, I missed that booster. We have no idea what things are going to look like. Um, later on. Now, originally I did say those those boosters were bait. I don't know if they still are bait. I feel like they're pretty good. They definitely uh, have their use. And you can see here, off this draft, look, I'm 1300. And now I'm off this guy drafting. He might have an extra turbo, though. So we gotta be a little bit careful with that. But if he did, he would be wasting his turbo because uh, it tells me he doesn't have one because he wouldn't want to sit here uh, t basically gaining turbo for no reason. I'm going to let these guys go past me because once again, I can try to draft off them. I do have full turbo though, so I'm going to use it. Ooh. Okay, not good, not good. Recoverable though. If I can go around this corner. And we got first again. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, I used a bit of drafting. You can see that the, uh, the advantage of drafting off the players when I came around that corner at the top of the three boosters, I was able to get like 1,350 kilometers per hour. Compounding speed in this game is super, super important. So if you can use your turbo after drafting through a player, you can usually get to uh, like 150 to 200 kilometers an hour extra on your speed which just travels over a much longer distance. All right, and for the final race, which is actually perfect, by the way, we got Anaconda. This is one of those maps where I feel like the strategy maybe falls apart, uh, where you let people get ahead. This is kind of, kind of one of those maps where you need to be in the back. Uh, or in the front, I mean. You know what I mean. You kind of need to just be ahead of people. Doing an extra turn there to get a lot of turbo. Should be all right. Put a draft on this guy a little bit, or even just pass him. I'm just gonna do my racing lines on this map uh, because that's the way you can easily win on Anaconda. We'll do a uh, turbo here. We're just gonna try to stay ahead of people so they can't draft off me. That's another thing too. And when you're in first, you wanna make sure that you don't get uh, let people get close enough to you, or they can draft off you for free. I'm going to bounce off this wall on purpose. That way I can get around the corner a little better. I miss both those boosters somehow. That's why I'm... I wish that the cars never flipped when they're, like, we're going downwards. It's unnecessary. It just feels like fla like flare that's not, not needed. Hoping to use this guy a little bit. I don't know if I can, though. He's not taking the turns as tight. Wow. Well, that sucks. I'm going to use the extra turbo here, even though I'm probably going to regret that. Oh, especially with that guy bumping me. Definitely not getting first. That guy was way ahead.
Got third though, not too bad. Like I said, this is definitely one of those races where you can't use that strategy and you can see why. People, if they get ahead, they will just stay ahead. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. First to third placements in all the races. I, I will take that. Um, even with a lot of mistakes. And so I, I think that you can definitely use the advantage of like, let's say you're in the first to third positions. You let those um, fourth to eighth players or, or fourth to 12th players use an extra turbo to try and keep up with the race. And then draft off those players so you can get a turbo advantage against the uh, other players. I don't want to get the next race. Please don't join, please. Yeah, either way, it's definitely very strong. I think that this will start to not work as well in the future because people will be, uh, you know, getting used to that kind of strategy. But we'll have to see. It'll be like one of those cyclic things where people will, will use the strategy and then not use the strategy based on what happens in the races. So very interesting. We'll have to see how it, how it pans out. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.